<laughs> Pinarella F7 in 53, size 53, weighing at 7.8 kilos. God, that just worked out arms. Hey, give me a second. And pounds, 17 pounds, 5 ounces. Stay tuned to the after video where you're free to buy sound test on those Fulcrum Wheels right Before there. Before we go any further in today's video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Bicycle. Bicycle is an online marketplace where you're able to buy and sell used bikes at the convenience of your own home. Whether it be a road bike, mountain bike, gravel bike, they have some of the top tier name brands out there, including Canyon, Giant, Specialized. The list goes on and on for you to choose from. Whether you're looking to go ahead and sell your bicycle at a top dollar figure, or you're looking to go ahead and make a steal of a deal buy, they have both options for consumers to go ahead and navigate through their website. All you have to do is go over to bicycle.com where they have a very user-friendly website, or if you're looking to go ahead and do it from the convenience of your phone, they have apps on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store as well. Bicycle is located in Munich and they're Europe-wide, but as of right now when this video is dropping, they're touching base over into the United States. So whether you're located over in Europe or across the pond in the United States, they will have an option for you whether or not you want to go ahead and get the best deal for buying or the best money for selling your bicycle. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to bicycle.com, check out what they have the offer, whether it be a used or new bicycle, and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video, and today I have for you guys a very nice bicycle. This is the Pinarello F7 in a size 53, and this bicycle comes in at $8,800. This is going to be one of their closest to the top line bikes that they make. It's specced with Altegra Di2 12 speed and a pair of Fulcrum carbon fiber wheels and a full one piece bar and stem combination. Pinarello did a great job at rebranding their whole bicycle lineup, uh, coming out with their new F series where they have now an F5, an F7, F9, and now their Dogma F. Basically what happened was they used to have a line like the Pinarello Paris and the Pinarello Prince and then now the Dogma. They now have got rid of the Paris and Prince because I always had people, even though I didn't sell Pinarello, asked me questions on confusion of what was the difference to those two. Now they basically have a F series lineup with different model numbers where these are the exact same racing geometries as the Pinarello Dogma F, but just at a lower tier spec. So now you're getting a very similar geometry spec to what the top line racers are riding, but with just with a lower tier spec and a more affordable price point. And this color right here, it's a matte black, but has a bunch of granule kind of like onyx color sparkles going down the whole frame with a gloss black Pinero logo. Looks gorgeous. And the way that is distinctful or distinctive between the F7 and the, or the F series and the Dogma series is the back of the C plus right here. F5, F7, and F9 will all have this flat back, which I like, I think it looks actually pretty nice. I really do. Uh, whereas the Dogma F kind of sticks out a little bit more, is a little bit more pronounced in there. But uh, it's, it's a gorgeous looking bike. You're getting a what looks to be probably to the untrained naked eye, everyone thinks that you're riding a Pinarello Dogma F. The F9 in that black and white color, that suit and tie color is gorgeous. Um, but this is a this is a bicycle that if you were dreaming of getting a Dogma F before and the price tag is just obviously out of your price range, uh, this is, makes it a little bit more affordable. Like I said, 8,800 bucks. And then they, they even have the F5s for a little bit cheaper, I think like $5,500 as well. So without further ado, let me get into what this bicycle comes spec with. Uh, again, big shout out to um, uh, bike signs down here in Pompano Beach. I'll put their link down below, but this bicycle is in stock. It's an F7 in a size 53 for $8,800 with a full integrated carbon fiber cockpit, uh, carbon fiber wheels, and an Altegra Di2 12-speed group set. So without further ado, let's enjoy. So starting off with the cockpit, you have a one-piece barn stem, carbon fiber, most handlebar in the Ultra Talon version. Uh, this is the same handlebar that come on the Dogma F that they put on there. It also comes equipped with their own most handlebar tape as well and then this handlebar can be included with an out front barn stem combination that you can put on there for a garmin a light a wahoo whatever you want on your computer it even has this little kind of gloss black most color on here as well to let people know what you're riding for the group set like i mentioned before this is a uh, shimano 12 speed altegra di2 semi wireless system all you have up here is just two hydraulic cables that go through the bar through the stem down to the head tube and then you have a semi wireless group set in the back as well which i'll show you guys in a second very easy to shift, very easy to break. Uh, a very nice group set and one of the lighter ones as well, which I do really do like. Going down to the frame, we have breakaway spacers. So if you need to drop spacers, you don't have to undo your brake bleeding process. You can just go ahead and lower spacers and figure out your fit before you go ahead and cut it to what you like. We have the Pinero logo out here in front with a little bit of a matte black right here and then an onyx color right there as well in the top. Tire clearance on these bicycles are about a 700 by 32 on here. Um, Depends on what tire you're running. Majority are probably a 30, but you might be able to get away a 32 depending on which kind of bicycle you put on there. 
or a bicycle tire company on there. For the wheels, it's going to be a fulcrum carbon fiber wheel set with a fulcrum hub on here. This is a 40 millimeter deep dish wheel and it's a carbon fiber wheel set. Comes equipped with a Pirelli Race TL TLR 726C tire as well, included with tubes. The wheels and tires are tubeless ready. You just need to go ahead and pay for the valves and the tubeless fluid on there. You do have the fulcrum racing wheels like I mentioned before. And then for the rotors, it's going to be a 160 millimeter uh, Altegra mountain bike rotor, but they are lighter than the road bike rotors. Altegra front disc brake caliper as well, which is very nice. And then their own proprietary Pinarello uh, front and rear through axles. These things are pretty cool. You can go ahead and pull them out. If you don't have a tool on you to loosen them up, you can just pull them out, yank them, and then go ahead and lefty loosey or righty tighty them to get them back on. That way, if you get a flat tire and you don't have a tool on you, it's easy to remove your wheel, which is really nice. Uh, going down the bottom of the frame, you have the Pinarello logo right there and a nice beefy bottom bracket. The bottom bracket platform on here is going to be a BSA threaded Italian. That means that the bottom bracket is going to thread in opposite of English threading. So righty tidy will not be righty tidy, it'll be righty loosey. That's Italians for you. They like to make your life complicated. You have some nice Pinarello logo right here on the top tube, a Pinarello logo right there on the front as well. You have the Onda fork in the front and this F7 is going to be a T800 carbon series, same as the F9. The only carbon, so the way the series is going to work, the F5 is going to be a T600 series, the F7, F9 is going to be a T800 series, and then the Dogma F is going to be a T1100 series, which is going to be their top line carbon that they make. Just basically different carbon layups on there to make them a little bit stiffer, lighter, everything that you want on a bicycle. You have options for a DI2 or Campy situation here. You have a UCI sticker right here. You have their uh, asymmetrical uh, uh, logo right here, a F branding right here, water ball logos or water ball options right here, and three water ball options right here as well if you needed to. For the cranks on here, it's going to be Altegra DI2 5034 group set on there. Wow, I would think that this thing would come with a at least a 5236, but it's a 5034 group set with Altegra front derailleur, and then you have also their Altegra chain on there as well, paired in the back with 1134 Altegra cassette and then their Shimano Altegra rear derailleur, 12 speed, where that's where you're gonna be able to charge it, everything like that as well. But look at that paint on there, man. That is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice because it's really hot out here and I can't really see the phone that well, but I love how it goes from like that half black to half sparkles on there. It looks really nice. Uh, again, for the wheel on the rear, it's gonna be a fulcrum racing wheel and a 40 millimeter deep dish wheel, carbon fiber with rounded spokes, and then a Pirelli P0 race tire, 700 by 26 C tire. For the rotor in the rear, it's gonna be exact same as the front, a 160 millimeter Altegra rotor. And then you can see right here, you have that asymmetric design, the nice rear wheel clearance as well, rear wheel clearance as well. And then for the seat posts, you have an integrated seat wedge right here that's going to be proprietary. Six new mirrors for the tightening down for that seat post wedge. And a proprietary seat post as well that is going to be aerodynamic and will only fit these bicycles. You do have their own most saddles as well with a nice wide cutout and a short nose saddle, which is very popular right now, but that is a beautiful bicycle. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this bike. This is the Pinarello F7 in a size 53, weighing $8,800, and uh, comes in right around 17 pounds. I am sweating. Look at, you want to see how hot it is here in South Florida now? See those sweat bullets dripping down me? This is one o'clock here in South Florida. It's gorgeous out. But folks, I just went inside and cooled down because I did a different video. But holy cow, dude. I am sweating. Look at that. I don't think it, show, think it shows. Holy cow. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned to after video where your free bicycle test on that wheel right there. Right, here comes the free bicycle test on the Fulcrum Racing wheel right here. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.